Hey, what's up everybody? It's your boy Christopher Terrence Jones. How are you doing? Hope all is well with you. You know, I hope you're having a beautiful day, week, month, year, and life in spite of all that we've been going through in the world. Make sure you get the COVID shot. And now we gotta worry about monkeypox. Do your part so that you don't be part of the problem, but you are part of the solution. Y'all know what to do right now. Share this video. Don't keep it to yourself. Subscribe. Make sure you are following me. Hit that bell up there so that you're notified every time I drop a new video. You want to be a part of the Christopher Terrence Jones experience. It's a journey you want to be on with me. So, in the news right now, there is a video clip which will be down in the comment section so that you can check it out. There is a video clip where there is a Spirit Airlines employee having an altercation which turns physical with a female passenger at the Dallas-Fort Worth Airport. And once you go over and you look at the video, the video starts where the employee is a little bit aggressive and the woman is aggressive. So they're both escalated to the point where there's really no comeback. And as you listen to the video and you watch the video, it keeps going up and up and up and up. And then you see a, a male passenger try to step in. And that's when the woman decides that, yeah, I got some backup now. Now, we don't know if that man was with her or if he wasn't with her. But when he steps in between the two that are in the middle of the altercation, she decides to reach around, and that's when she smacks the spirit employee, a man. So, we don't see anything before this because the person that video didn't get any of the previous stuff. But the woman is a legend because she now has a attorney, and she's saying that the spirit employee was the, aggress the aggressor of the situation. We didn't see that. No one around saw that. And usually you know what happens on the airline when you either have too much to drink and you get on the plane and you're upset about something or you were late arriving to the airport. I'm not saying that it's her fault for those reasons. I'm just saying these are things that happen that cause you to change your demeanor. Now, as you watch that video, you're going to see that when she hit him, he went all the way after her. Now, she's all, with the attorney, she's suing because she claimed that she was hurt. But as you can clearly see in the video, when she reached around to hit him and then she decided she wanted to run, her feet or whatever got hooked in the chair and she fell over the chair. That's when she sustained her injuries. But listen, ladies, let me make this real clear. Stop running around here hitting men thinking that men are not going to hit you back. You don't know what that man has went through. You don't know his life story. So when you hit somebody, expect somebody to knock you the hell back out. You have no right putting your hands on anybody. Female, male, male, female, male, male, female, female. Dog, dog, cat, cat. If you cannot communicate your situation without it escalating to a physical, then you need to seek help. You need to go to therapy because there is clearly something wrong with you. And I feel that the only reason she hit him is because the man stepped in between and she got all rah, rah. But rah, rah got him after you. And then as you guys watch the video, because I at this point, I can't see anything else, but you hit him. So when the man stepped in between, it should have de-escalated. But she kept rah, 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 rah. And when he came after you, now you say, get him off of me. But you hit him. That's what we see on the video. We don't see anything. She stated that he pushed her. Where is your supporting document? Because, ma'am, what you fail to realize, the airport has cameras 
everywhere. Yeah, crickets. Because y'all forget that when y'all acting a fool. When y'all doing the doing the fool, y'all forget that. There are cameras everywhere. So we will see. So basically what happened was, allegedly, she was on the plane and there wasn't a seat for her. And so she came back out all rah-rah. Because, you know, we get upset. We get there and there's no seat. And they maybe, maybe they overbooked the bus. I mean, the plane. And maybe they gave her extra seat. But he asked her to get in line because they were helping someone else. The plane is not going to pull off. This is what you need to understand. They're not going to close the doors when they understand that you just got off the plane. They're still loading. So there's no need for you to act pure D fool unless you were late. Yeah, they close the doors when you're late, baby. When you're not there, the plane's pulling off. The plane doesn't wait for you. It doesn't wait for you. It doesn't work like that. So she could have just said, well, can you help me now? Because there's a situation if they were, you know, taking their time. But we didn't see that part. So we weren't there. My part where I see is you put your hand on a man. And then you expected that man not to try to knock you out and come after you. Stop putting your hands on other people that don't belong to you. Because at that point, you became the aggressor. And you became the aggressor because you kept reaching around the man to hit him. Now, the situation took a turn. Several passengers came over because at that point now, he turned rah-rah and he was going after her. And he had every right because she smacked him in his face. Now, he has every right because... In this life, you have every right to defend yourself. And this is where I get mad with jobs because they want you to not do anything when somebody hits you. Baby, this is 2022. That is not the real world. If somebody hits you, you are going to react. Let me tell you, some of the people who are the CEOs and make the rules and all this stuff of this company, if somebody popped they silly butts, trust me. They're going to be trying to hit back. So stop making these old stringent rules and where the employees have to just sit here and try to endure. Because we already know spirit is known for fights. That's y'all MO. You are the plane of fights. You are the ghetto of planes. Every other week, you guys got a damn video up. That's all y'all ever do is fight. I don't even know how we got here. I don't even know how we got here. But as this story, like I say, it escalated. And they got around. There's another African-American man who steps up telling this spirit employee that he's not going to fight this uh, woman. And he jumps in the front and then he makes himself look like an ass because you were out of order when you stepped in. Your job, if you were going to try to help the situation, was to de-escalate it. Now you over here telling this man that, yeah, fight me, fight me, hit me, hit me. You are now a threat. They should have arrested you because you had nothing to do with this situation. And you don't tell somebody because I'm telling you, y'all keep acting like when it happened to you, you're going to be like, oh, oh they hit me. <laughs> Lies. When somebody hits you, your first reaction is to swing. Okay, well, let's say, if you. okay, I'll give you y'all first reaction. Bam! That's the next one. So maybe I'll give you two reactions. I'll let y'all slide. People, women, men, stop hitting folks believing that they're not going to hit you back because they're at work. It's a new day. You, ha I can't stress this enough. You have no right to put your hands on somebody else. And I'm telling you, the, it, the ones, the majority of y'all that do it, that put y'all hands on other people, y'all can't fight. So you wait till somebody else gets in front to be your protector. Do it on the wrong one. Because y'all see the videos and they tell you, you got the right one today, baby, and they get you. They tell you on the videos. When we watch these videos, y'all see the video. You got the right one today, and they commenced to beating your butt. This is what would have happened to this woman had them people not gotten in the way. And y'all, she fell on her own. It wasn't that he pushed her down. You watch the video several times. Don't let these people give you the narrative that he pushed her. They were on the ground because she tripped over the chair.
It's clear. All you got to do is watch it and stop trying to make your own outline and narrative of what happened in the video. Start from the fact that she hit him. Okay, so let's just go back. Let's take it back where she said he pushed her and we didn't see that on the video. So if he pushed you, why didn't you go get a supervisor? Why didn't you call for the police? Why didn't you do any of that? Because in, time, in any situation, when somebody is aggressive one to you and they do something to you, your reaction is to fight and protect yourself. So how is it all right for her, but it's not all right for him? See, there's a a double standard here and there's two sides of every story there's the, <laughs> the truth and the lie there's no three sides to the story <laughs> there's, there's like your side their side and the truth no there is the truth and the lie that's the real deal i, I don't I ain't got time for all these other shenanigans there's the truth of what really happened and then there's the lie point blank Ain't no sugar coating. You guys go watch the video for yourself and stop assuming when you decide you want to put your hands on somebody that they not going to knock you the hell out and knock you out and leave you on the floor. This is the video world, baby. Everybody is recording. So if you don't want to be blasted all over the internet looking like a fool, keep your hands to your damn self. It's your boy, Christopher Terrence Jones. I'm out. Share the video, comment, like, share, subscribe, follow, all of that good stuff. Bye-bye.